Well, hello guys and welcome to Mr. Web Reviews and today we're going to review a plugin from the YI Theme company and this plugin will allow you to tweak and personalize all your WooCommerce emails so that when someone orders something off your website, the email confirmation they receive will match your company colors, have your logo on it, uh, will have your links uh, to your social media accounts and you can even have your own uh, small menu where you can link directly to some some pages on your website so clearly it's a very important part of your branding as well that will also allow you to build trust so let's have a look at this plugin so we're going to have a look at the Yeath WooCommerce email templates and what's the purpose of this plugin is to manage and customize the templates of emails sent from your store uh, and uh, most uh, precisely your WooCommerce store for a more professional look. So the cost of this plugin is $59.99, which is absolutely fine, uh, based on its intended purpose, which is to um, make your web, your emails look more professional. And with a more professional look, obviously uh, you attract more customers, more referrals, and more repeat orders as well. So let's have a look at the features quickly. So as you can see, uh, there are four different layouts you can choose from. So you have default, informal, elegant, and casual. But you can also let your imagination run wild and have your own custom theme designed with this. And then you can add a menu immediately straight in the email. So when people open the, the email confirmation, you can redirect them directly to your website. And you can insert the social network buttons as well on top and bottom of the email. So in the footer like this, like this one here, or on top of the email, like you can see here as well, or both of them at the same time. So let's put this plugin to the test now on an actual WooCommerce installation and see how it performs. And let's go through all the different features as well. So welcome to our WordPress dashboard. And if you go in the Yeath section here, you can see we have three tabs. We have email templates, uh, system status, and license ac activation. So we click on email templates, and these are our settings. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is to upload your logo. And for that, we simply click on Upload, and we select our logo. So I went ahead and selected the file already. There you go. And then... We have to select here which uh, email settings, which template we want to apply for new orders, for cancelled orders, failed orders, and so on. And as you can see, we have the choice among one, two, three, four, and five different options. So the default one is just basically the default uh, template as, as is. So we have the casual, elegant, informal, and custom so custom is your is your own template that you're going to customize and select your own colors own pictures own settings on everything basically so totally 100 customized to your own requirements and we're just going to change the customer invoice order here so we're going to select default first and save and then now i'm going to go into the orders here as you can see i just open orders I'm just going to open this one and I'm going to actually email myself an email confirmation again. So I'll be, I'm, I'm going to receive a confirmation email just to see what this template, what this layout looks like. So again, this is the default one. So let's go to my mailbox and see what it looks like. So this is the email confirmation I received. So your invoice for order number 1556. Hi, David. So this is basically the default WooCommerce template uh, as is. So no changes made apart from the color here. That's a bit different, a uh, uh, bluish. But anyways, apart from that, that's the only difference. But everything else is the exact same so far. Okay, so let's change this now to, uh, let's say, casual. So let's save changes. Let's go back here. Let's refresh. And I'm going to send those details to myself again. And let's head back to my mailbox and see how this template looks like. Okay, so now we have our logo here, Mr. Web Reviews, right on top, the invoice details. Then you can see we have our social media icons here, the order uh, details here, and a small logo at the bottom. And you could have maybe a small 
terms and conditions here uh, your terms and condition quickly here and there again some uh, social media proofs and links so very nice indeed so let's change this to uh, let's say elegant save and i'm going to refresh here again and then send our email confirmation so that's gone so let's go back to our mailbox now and see what sort of email we received now this is what the elegant uh, template looks like so we have the logo on top with on the on the dark background now you see uh, we still have our uh, social media icons here uh, details and finally a smaller logo here terms and condition and again our social icons here so very neat very clean indeed so next and then we have our informal save and then go back here refresh and then i'm going to send myself an email confirmation email once more there you go that's done so let's go to my mailbox and see how this one looks like so here we are as you can see it's a bright blue and a darker blue colors so mr web reviews logo on top again we have a menu here you can go to the home shop and so on and so on and then we have a facebook uh, twitter etc social media again small logo terms and condition and then the social media icons again here at the bottom so again very nice indeed and our last one i believe is the actual custom template so we're going to change this ourselves so that's it we set it up as custom templates and then we're going to email templates here all templates so you can see we have custom casual elegant informal so let's click on the custom template now and we're going to select our logo select and here at the bottom we want our smaller logo for the footer which is this one here selected before and then in here you can select literally any colors that you wish so uh, let's say if you wanted your base color to be uh let's see i don't know on the blue side maybe a purple let's go with purple maybe that's a dark purple like this maybe okay we go with that uh, the text can remain like this and the footer color we might go with a pink just to show you maybe the difference we go with this and the border colors we might use the same color maybe so we're going to copy this here and use the same pink and the border width and let's go with something a bit thicker like that and the background color we can choose maybe a faded pink like this maybe and there you go and we could just leave it like that so i'm just going to type in here this is where your terms and conditions will be you can type maybe two or three lines no more so let's go with this for now and then as you can see here you can add custom links so if you wanted to add another link and then youtube channel https what's the first slash youtube.com what slash mr web reviews that's it that'll do us and we're going to update now so let's go back to our order let's refresh and let's send ourselves a new email once more and let's head back to the mailbox and see what this custom template looks like okay now it looks a bit tacky to be honest but anyways here was just to show you uh, what can be done more than anything else so like you can see we put thick lines here of uh, five pixels you know in thickness that's probably too much but anyways as you can see we have a bright uh purple uh, green uh pink in the as a background uh here sorry <clears throat> as a background we have a header we selected the color was purple we have a logo on top and as you can see we're our menu here so home shop youtube channel so if i click on this now and bring us to mr web reviews channel 
and there you go so if you scroll down you have the small logo and as you can see this is where your terms and conditions will be you can type maybe two or three lines no more okay so let's try actually to make it look nice and proper properly professional you know so the logo height as you can see it's too big for us so i'm, I'm going to reduce that maybe to 54 maybe 51 pixels and you can have the header padding as well so from the top right bottom and left so i'm going to add a bit more padding i'm going to add more padding at the bottom so more space between the the order details and the logo itself and we can reduce the left and the right as well it increase sorry so i'm going to put an extra maybe i'm going to up to 74 for these so it'll be squeezed up a bit but you know squeezed up a bit like this so the page width 500 this is absolutely fine um, the body color let's go and add this color here as well for the body itself so i'm going to add this here and the first thing we want to do is to remove the border width and reduce that to maybe one and we're not going to use this we're going to use a gray color which is more sensible i think and the background color we can use a gray as well but a very light shade of gray maybe an f7 that would be fine okay so the heading uh, one uh, font size heading two heading three so it's h1 h2 h3 uh, fonts you can live as is but you can reduce or increase the size as well but i think it, it is fine as is for for the time being and the body font you can increase or reduce it as well so i might go maybe slightly bigger and if you wanted to see what it looks like all you have to do is preview template and as you can see it looks very professional already indeed and you can use this method to make uh, to personalize it and customize it to match your company uh, colors so uh, if your logo was blue and orange you could have blue and orange and your logo on top and everything would match uh, all the items would match each other here which is a strong brand identity of course which will uh, increase uh, trust uh, the trust factor uh, between you and your customers which again might lead in more sales more referrals and maybe some repeat business as well or you could actually invert the colors and do it the other way around so have the background in pink maybe so let me select this color here so this one here in pink and then we have the body color maybe in white and let's see what the preview is like so let's preview the template and as you can see here the whole email is pink but the body is white which uh, makes it stand out even uh, even more i think this looks very professional indeed so again you can personalize it uh, to make it your own customize it based on your own preferences and um, company colors of course and then finally let me show you how to set up your social media icons here so if you go into so uh yeast and then email templates and then social media social networks here you can upload uh, you're going to put your you're going to paste your facebook url you can have a logo icon as well the twitter uh, google plus i don't know who uses google plus anymore but uh linkedin instagram Flickr, pinterest and youtube so these are the ones you can use at the moment so any of them you can just paste your url in here and that's it sort it don't forget to save at the end and if someone goes on your emails and receive it when if they click on the social icon they'll be redirected straight to your uh, social media platforms so there you go guys that's all for today as you can see this plugin is super easy to use and configure now is it the best plugin out there is it the best value uh, for money at 59 euros i can't say for sure all i know is that it does exactly what it's supposed to do which is to allow you to customize your woocommerce emails and it does it very well indeed uh, i hope you found this video helpful if so please consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss a single update thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video